Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March the 22nd of 2020, well, it is titled Moon Setting Behind Tiede Volcano. So what do we see here? Well, this is, of course, the volcano in the foreground, uh, an, an old uh, extinct volcano. And we see in the uh, background the moon setting. And this is actually a video clip that will run a couple of minutes. It runs in real time. So this is not a time lapse watching things happen. This is actually how long it would have taken. So this is a real, literally a two minute video. And we're watching the full moon set behind the volcano. So we can see the moon as it moves behind. Now the full moon is actually um, always going to be opposite to the sky and the sun. So as you watch the people standing up there looking off towards the camera, they're not watching the photographer. They're actually watching the sun rise on the opposite horizon. So as the full moon sets, the sun will always rise. They are always exactly opposite to each other in the sky. So as we play the video, we will see the moon as it begins to approach here as it's getting closer and closer to the horizon. On the moon, we can see a number of things, including the different structures on the moon, the highlands, the lighter colored areas, and the darker maria named for seas, perhaps thinking earlier on many thousands of years ago that these were actually seas on the moon. We now know that they are just flooded lava plains, smoother areas, and younger than the rest of the surface of the moon but still about three and a half billion years old. So the moon has been unchanged for many billions of years. And as it continues to set, you can see uh, the motion. Now the motion is caused not by the moon itself, but by the earth. The earth rotating uh, from west to east causes all objects in the sky to appear to rise in the east and set in the west. So here we are seeing the moon set and could we turn around and look behind uh, as the photographer is set here? We would see the sun slowly rising up over the horizon. So as I said, the full moon and the sun are always directly opposite to each other. And that's how we see the fully illuminated surface of the moon. Now, as we continue, we can still see, again, many of the very flooded lava plains. Uh, and in fact, the, the Sea of Tranquility was the first landing of the Apollo missions to the moon. So when the Apollo mission landed on the moon, they picked one of the smoother areas to hope for a nicer landing site and a good place for the astronauts to land. And as we come closer towards the end here, we now start to see the upper limb of the moon as much of the moon has now set below the horizon. And we're starting to see the last bits of the moon as it begins to disappear beyond the volcano. So the moon is very close to setting now. And in just a few seconds, we will see the moon will have completely disappeared beyond the horizon here. And again, could we look on the other side, we would see the sun off in the distance fully rising. So that was our picture of the day from March the 22nd of 2020. It was titled Moon Setting Behind Tiede Volcano. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be clusters and dust. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.